Welcome back everyone to another beer review. Uh, tonight's beer is one uh, that Dean kindly sent me. It was part of the beer swap that we done. And uh, I've never had anything from these guys before. I've never heard of them to be honest. Uh, so, and it's a style I tend to like, the normal one. This is obviously a, a twist on it. And this is from Hop Hooligans and they're from Romania. And it's a can of their dry hopped laser lader hosen. Hefeweiss, or hop, hop, hop for vice. Uh, basically, it's got lots of hops in. Apparently, uh, it's in a 500 ml can. I think this was about three pounds, something like that. I think from what I remember, three, four quid, because uh, we did sort of discuss all this. Uh, great artwork, absolutely fantastic. I love that. I think that's right, weird and funky. Uh, what's it say on the back? Do -do 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 -do. Do you know what? I can't be bothered to tell you what's on the back. 500 mil can. It's coming in at 5%. Uh, had an accident before. Absolutely gutted. I had two of the older uh, Frank Skinner Hefeweizen glasses. And I say had because about five minutes ago, there I was trying to give it a bit of a dust and a wipe and all that lot ready. And I got a bit vigorous with my hand and ended up snapping the bloody thing. So absolutely gutted because I know beer all haven't got anything at the moment glass-wise on there. So... Need to be seriously careful with this one now. I'll be gutted if I lose this one because I've still got a keg of Frank Skinner there. So I need to look after this one now. So uh, anyway, let's get on with the beer review. I'll tell you what, actually, two seconds. I want to bring my mate back in. My old mate's not been here for a bit, has he? Let's get him into the picture. I'm going to have to turn the camera a bit. Get old Beaker back there. There he is. There's my old man. Good old Beaker, lad. Cracking hairdo, pal. Anyway, let's get the beer into... Into a can, I said before. Get it out of the can into a glass. So the old usual things coming from me. Good old usual cock ups. Wow, that's lively. You do expect that from a, a, a vice beer. They tend to be uh, lively, have a big head on it. I think I'm going to have to let this one settle a bit though. That is. Let's get round here a bit. I'm getting a bit off. <laughs> Get a bit all ass about face. So <laughs> that pour went well, didn't it? Uh, <laughs> in a glass, it's raging, raging carbonation in there. Absolutely huge amounts. Get the bubbles off the side. It's a hazy lemon colour. Uh, a lot of sort of wheat beers, I would say, tend to be. You kind of you tend to get darker ones, and you get ones like this. This looks more like a hoe garden kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to have trouble getting a nose on this, so I may have to dive in, take some of the head off and uh, give it a swirl and sniff then, isn't it? Right. I've taken all that head off. It's not going well this review, is it, Christ? I should have just gone for a bath when the bloody glass went. Anyway, let's see what we get on the nose. Yeah, getting hops in there, getting the hops. Hops, coriander kind of feel, nose on it. It's very lemony. It's it, but it has got a lovely sort of smell in there. Uh, for me, the lemon with the hops, it's really nice smell. It smells good. It reminds me more more towards the hoe garden side than the, the say the Franz. Excuse me, good old burp in there as well. Than uh, the Francis Scanner side. So uh, let's dive in. So cheers, everyone. That sort of baffled me a little bit. Christ, I've still got a huge head on the bloody thing as well. That's nice, that is. I like that. I can't describe what i got yet. Let's try and get a little bit more in there. Mm. 
So anyway, it's a bloody lively beer it is. Thank you very much, Dean, by the way. Much appreciated, mate. Lovely sort of, good, more sort of orangey colour now, that is. Uh, you're getting hops. You're getting lemon in the taste. Real tangy. Real tangy. It's hard to describe the flavours, you know. I'm not sure if I'm really sort of, sort of picking up the coriander, if you like, in, in, in the aroma. I'm getting orange, I would say. Orange peel. That's the sort of orange I'm getting in it, actually. Maybe that's the sort of the tang I'm getting. Very lemon. Lemon and orange peel in there. Uh, it's different. Uh, God, this, this review's going nowhere, isn't it? Six minutes in, right. <laughs> On the nose, I'm getting hops, lemon. I was getting sort of like to start off with a, a sort of coriander with. In the taste, I'm getting lemon. I'm getting sort of orange peel, I would say. Uh, it doesn't taste like your typical sort of wheat beer. That's got even hazier now. I've got the rest in there. You're getting the hops. Lemon, orange sort of peel. It's really refreshing. For me, as a, as, a, as a wheat beer, what I sort of like, it doesn't do it for me in that sense. It's, it's edging more towards, with the hops, for me it's tasting more like an IPA. Not bad body on the beer. Definitely got a tang in the taste. 5%. No, I wouldn't say you're getting 5%. It's not far off. It's not far off, I'd say. But I like it. It's very orangey. Very orange and lemon for me. It's getting more and more orange. It's getting a bit... Getting a bit tangy now. So if, if we judge it by the back end of the, the beer... Getting all the getting all the good bits in. I'd probably say it's not necessarily my kind of thing because it's a bit too tangy orange. But if you like the tangy orange, I think you'll like this. Uh, as I say, as a wheat beer, <coughs> doesn't do it for me for a Hefeweizen. As a standalone beer, it's quite enjoyable. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Whew, wheat gas. But yeah, that's that's quite enjoyable. Uh, I know. I haven't. I, Dean did tell me he was a little bit disappointed with it. Uh, I quite like it. It doesn't do it as a wheat beer, as I said, as a standalone beer. I think it's quite nice, although it is very orangey near the end. So uh, there you go. Hop hooligans, dry hops, lederhosen, hop 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 hop, hop what vice beer. So I'll give up with that one. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Uh, like even all your comments. Good to know if I'm wrong, and which I probably normally am. Uh, if you've not had it, and you like, don't expect a normal vice beer. Uh, expect something more along the lines of a Ho Garden, but extremely orangey with hops. Uh, so that's it now. So it's a good night from me and this old man here. Stay. Uh, and that's it. So thanks for watching everyone. Thanks to all the new subscribers and I'll see you again soon on another beer review. So cheers.